What's up, everyone? We're in the age of AI. Not the age where it makes all of our lives better, but we're in the age of when AI creates crazy images of celebrities so we can either laugh or watch in horror when a sixth finger is added to a hand or Taylor Swift is being violated by a football team or Kermit the Frog. That's what this series is all about, minus the degradation of Kermit the Frog. He would never cheat on Miss Piggy. I'm sure a lot of you already saw those pics if you're on Twitter slash X, but if you haven't, then check them out because I can't really post them on here. Now they have an AI that can create whole video scenes and even whole movies just by you typing a sentence or a few lines. It's getting pretty ridiculous and it has the potential to put creative types out of business. If you didn't check out the first video in this series, then check it out after this one or whenever you get the time. There are crazy and weird pics of the Beatles, Mick Jagger, Madonna, Billy Joel, and a few others that I can't remember. All right, so let's get into this video's debaucheries. Up first is gonna be Mariah Carey, the Christmas Queen. And of course, the first image that comes up when you prompt for Mariah Carey is a picture of Drew Carey in a Star Trek outfit because of course. I don't know what the hell that's about, but I try to go with the flow and it is content after all. Someone is obviously sick of Mariah Carey with this next one. They dressed her up festively in a Santa Claus hat with two balls at the end of it because why not? Santa has two balls, so should his hat. They also gave her snowflake earrings, but the thing that gives it away for them being sick of her holiday shenanigans is the clown makeup. Either that or the AI thought that she was Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. This next one is when Mariah Carey eats after midnight on Christmas Eve. Or would that be Christmas Day? I guess that would be Christmas Day. If you don't get the reference, then go watch the movie Gremlins. I mean, she's still kind of attractive here if you ask me. Maybe I just need to get out more. She's got the big perky uh, gift sacks. I don't know what type of earrings float in midair, and even if you do still think she's kind of attractive, those teeth might be a problem. The proportions seem to be a little off, too. It kind of looks like a Mariah Carey Christmas dwarf. Kind of like Elf on a Shelf, but it's more like Dwarf Double Decker Pekareka. Please forgive my sense of humor. Here's one where she's really buff on steroids, kind of looking like The Rock. She even kind of has her right eyebrow higher than the other one. Is this next one related? I thought steroids were supposed to shrink your testicles. I don't know what the hell that is. She also seems to have a third or fourth detachable leg. And here she is being the creep that she is, just waiting to emerge from her underground dwelling with her twin sister to devour the bad little boys and girls on Christmas Day. I knew the family image for the holidays was all a front. Up next is someone who was even more of a diva than Mariah Carey, Prince. This first one was the AI saying, just throw something purple on a woman with a thick neck and a fro. And let's add a second row of top teeth to make it look more like Prince. It kind of looks like a female black exploitation version of Ken or Ryu from Street Fighter. At least that's what my weird mind sees. Here we have Pocket Prince, so you could take him anywhere when you want him to insult you in your music while he lets you know that he's better at playing the guitar and writing songs. And of course, AI picks wouldn't be complete without it screwing up the person's hands. Prince has four fingers on each hand here. And he's definitely going to have to see someone about that right knee, too. Here he is looking like Quato from the movie Total Recall. No wonder why his ego was so big. He needed enough for two. I would pay to see that movie with Prince and Baby Prince attached to him while they chase Sinead O'Connor around. It's my song, bitch. Open your mind. I said Prince, not Michael Jackson. Even Michael's surprised. I said Prince, not Pharrell Williams. This is Prince as a cat. It's obviously Prince because there's purple in it. I guess it could also be Elvis. They say you are what you love, so I guess it could be either one of them. If it's Elvis, it must be a prepubescent cat, though. Ooh, yeah, I said it. And what? These next ones are for Lady Gaga. Those aren't footballs, people. Those are Travis Kelsey's deflated testicles. I'd hate to see how big they were before she got to them. Honestly, I think this Lady Gaga would kick Taylor Swift's ass. There's definitely some autistic strength going on here. She would crush them like grapes. For some reason, there's a fascination here with Lady Gaga and all different types of fruit and cake. I mean, she is big in the gay community. <laughs> this one is supposed to be a cake, but you should dirty imagination. It's easy if you try. Here she is doing what she usually does every day, tractor farming. She has three legs and then her highly talented detached fourth leg on the other side is driving the tractor. I guess while she sits on the wheel casing. And yes, that's a wheel on top of a wheel. Here she is looking like Chun-Li from Street Fighter again, but she's working at Chotsky's in the movie office space. I'm sorry Gaga, but your 875 pieces of flair is unacceptably low. 
and she just turns around and cuts the manager's head off with the flare fatality. I thought searching for Britney Spears would be pretty fun and that it would give some interesting results, but the AI must have said, this bitch crazy, because everything it produced was normal, except for this one, but that's just her on a regular Friday night. Here's one with Justin Timberlake, apparently after spending a night with Britney. I don't know what the hell is stuck in his face. Here's what's supposed to be Cardi B. It looks more like a discombobulated flamingo or something like that. I don't know where the ass starts. It's like one ass cheek is here and the other one is here in the opposite direction. I mean, I've been around a bit, but I've never seen an ass like that. Here we have Queen Bay before she became famous, apparently. I guess she's the queen of Walmart here. These are all Beyonce either being mad at shoppers or shoppers being mad at her with their crying babies, or they're all constipated. Eat more fiber, people. Especially the guy in the motorized shopping cart. That last one is Beyonce right before her metamorphosis into the superstar that she is today. She spent years of tireless networking at Walmart to find the perfect combination of 50 songwriters. Here she is as a cyborg so she can have those 50 songwriters instantly feed her the lyrics that they write for her. Yes, I'm gonna beat this horse until it disintegrates. I don't know what the hell someone prompted the AI with to come up with this one, but it looks like a guy's dream. The only thing that can make it better is if there were no vocal cords. Ooh, I don't discriminate on the misogynistic jokes, people. I make fun of men and women. This one is related to the last one with my dirty mind, with Beyonce stuffing a shit ton of meat in her mouth in Brazil. I have no idea why she's eating all that meat in a third world village in Brazil, but I'm jealous. Here we have Axl Rose looking like a cross between Johnny Depp and Bob Ross painting what looks like a cyclops with a fish growing out of its head. I don't know, folks. I didn't create it. Here's what Axl Rose would have looked like at the very old age of 20 from all the alcohol and drugs if he was human. He's done enough of both to kill a blue whale. Here's one of Axl Rose... Oh, wait, that's not AI. That's a real pick. All right, you're going to have to prepare yourself for this one. It's not horrible, but it is kind of disturbing. If you can tell me who that is, then you win absolutely nothing. My channel isn't monetized. I'll let you know who it is anyway. That's supposed to be Ed Sheeran. This one is supposed to be Ed Sheeran as a Chinese woman. All I know is that he's less pale in this pic than he usually is. Here's Ed in a family photo posing with one of his cousins. I mean, look at the resemblance. It's uncanny. Here's Ed before and after the missing chromosomes. And here's Ed as different Muppets. So if anything, AI really does seem to be accurate with Ed Sheeran creations. And that's the end of it because I got tired of looking for more. I have to give it time for new ones to pop up. These are all harmless fun, but the honest truth is that AI is kind of bad for artists of all kinds. But that's a different discussion. Alright, so I'll be doing another one of these soon enough. You can watch me make fun of more singers in my last month of music news series that I do every month right there. But until then, I'll see you in a new video next Thursday at 1 p.m. Try not to have nightmares.